So today I'm going to test out this solenoid while it's out of the car. This is a Duty A solenoid from a Subaru 4E AT. What I got was these test leads with gator clamps from Harbor Freight for about six bucks. I'm going to hook up the ground to the battery ground and the other end to the ground wire on the solenoid and the power wire. I'm going to hook onto the terminal right here and make sure it doesn't touch the casing of the solenoid. And then you should be able to hear it when I touch it against the positive of the battery. So that solenoid is working good because it's clicking. That's all there is to it. Now here's a way to do it if uh, you don't have access to your car battery. Here we have an 18 volt Bosch impact battery. And notice it's marked positive here, negative there. What I've done is I've made two spade terminals, appropriately colored wires with bare ends. Now keep in mind, if you touch these together while you're plugging them in, you're gonna get zapped. So there's a negative plugged in and a positive plugged in. Now the way I like doing it, here's our duty A solenoid again. Hook it up to the ground. Hook it power to the wire terminal again without touching the housing. Clamp our ground onto our ground wire on the battery, making sure it doesn't touch the positive. Then we just tap this against it and you'll hear it click. Now I found that this works for the duty A, the duty C, and I can't remember what the solenoid is for that has a blue connector. There's the duty C connector. Look up ground first. Now this has a smaller terminal, so you gotta get in there with the gator clamp. There you go. Duty C is working just fine. That's how you touch the shoulder lights.